today is the day Justin and I have decided to show y'all our house and the plans. I'm going to try to put them on here like so you guys can screenshot them um, out of our what we call the house Bible. So we are just sitting on our front porch in our little reclining chairs looking out the yard. I'm ready for it to be green in spring. It's so beautiful in the spring. Oh yes. Shadow. We're doing. Meet our house Bible. The sun's kind of blinding me. So, I'm going to show y'all our little blue printy thingy here that we drew up. And if y'all like what you see and you want to see us turn our house into a home, like and subscribe. Word of advice keep everything because somebody is going to want it. Somebody, sometime down the road, it's gonna want it. Okay, let's get started. When we moved here, this lighter colored part of the shop was already here. And then the place where we got our metal from, they didn't have a gray that would match, so we did what we could. We, we didn't really care. So anyway, you can kind of see where the color change is different. This is a garage we added on. This is the first thing we did. We added on this garage. What size is it? It is a 20 by 32. 20 by 32. We added this on for our Torino. My husband has a 1969 Ford Torino. If y'all would like to see it, leave a comment down below. It's beautiful. We'll fire her up for you and let y'all see what she looks like and sounds like if you want. But anyway, that's where she lives. She doesn't live there right now because all of our junk lives there. We just need to pull it all out and throw it away. But anyway, she's going to live there someday. The second thing we did in our building extravaganza <laughs> was build our house. And I'm gonna take y'all on a tour to see all that. Um, I, like I said, I put the little print things in the video so you guys can look at that. It's three bedroom, two bath with a two car garage. And we also built an office on the back porch. So really good size office. Um, it's really good for us. But the first thing I wanna show you before we go to the house is this barn we built over our wood furnace that heats the water that goes into our radiant heat flooring in the house. And it also heats the water that goes to a heater that we put in the shop. So Justin could have a heat, heated shop. When we were looking for our property, if you watched my first video, when we were looking for our property, we were looking, we weren't really looking for a house. We weren't looking to move or build or anything, but we were needing the shop. So this came up for sale. And so we bought it because it had a shop on it. He's a mechanic and we got lots of vehicles and stuff in the, on our property because he's a mechanic. So if we moved every project that he has, uh, we'd be here till the cows came home. So we ain't gonna move no cars. We're just gonna show you what we built. And how we live. And how we live. This was furnace turned barn. <laughs> so we have our wood furnace in there. What's it called? It's called a heat master. Um, and anyway, this houses our lawnmower our, and our go-karts. Our kids go karts they race the go karts so that's where we keep those protected at but we've got our wood furnace in here and enough room to really get us a good stack of wood for the winter when justin built this barn up in the top he put some plywood what is that he put some wood up here that we can use for storage so we put our summer camping stuff up there whenever it's winter and then, you know, just keep stuff that we don't use all the time, but we, we, we can easily get it down with a ladder or he just backs the truck up in here and I can climb up there and get stuff down if we need to. So trying to make use of any kind of space that we have wisely, you know, you've got a lot of space up there, so make use of storing it. Justin said, I should probably tell you what size this is. He says it's 16 by 32. Ta-da! Now, y'all wanna move on to the house? Our driveway kind of curves around, two car garage. You can really fit three cars in there. When we got our niece a smart car for her 16th birthday, we fit three cars in there. <laughs> anyway, all right, this is our front porch. We didn't go the whole length of the house. Um, this, what, three quarters length or something? What size is our porch? It is 12 by 40. 12 by 40, and I didn't think it was gonna be big enough. I thought I wanted all the way to the end of the house. But it's big enough. Now I have to put furniture on here or something. I have those brown chairs down there. But whenever you put those out here and make it look all nice and pretty, the wind just blows them right off into the woods. So, anyway. 
plenty big enough for us. Okay. All right. Real life, y'all. <laughs> this is our mud pit. Uh, this is our back porch. So we just park our side by side on it. And then sometimes, um, like when it iced last week, Justin will pull the Jeep up onto the back porch because it was built the length of the house and um, it's huge. So anyway, this is our mud pit. And so we've got enough room to have our side by side here and then a patio table. We're gonna build a, a bigger one, but right now we just got the little one that I've had for years out here. And then all that junk down there where I'm kind of unpacking. And by unpacking, I mean moving stuff from that garage to the back porch and then never touching it again for like six months. But let's go inside. All right, so on our back porch, we have the exterior door that goes into the garage, of course. But we also have an exterior door here. Um, this goes into our laundry room. I wanted a straight shot from the laundry room to the clothesline. Because I use I use the clothesline all the time. There's actually clothes hanging on it right now. So, and it's like, what is it, March? It's the beginning of March. Um, anyway, straight shot, laundry room, clothesline. So, if you guys will look up. And this is what our porch ceiling looks like. We stained this car siding. Mm -hmm. We stained this car siding. Uh, I can tell you the name of the stain. Do you remember the name of the stain? Early American. Early American. So we were going to just do the, the white plasticky stuff, but Justin went to somebody's house to work on his car and he's seen this on their front porch and thought it was beautiful and showed me and I agreed. So we got this, we got it on sale. Let's turn this light on and see if we can get a better view. Oh, probably not, but we got plenty of light out here. <laughs> okay, this is coming in from the garage. When you first walk in, we have our pantry here on the left, and it goes from floor to ceiling. I had Justin build shelves all the way up to the ceiling, so this is sufficient for us to store the food that we need. This box right here is full of stuff that I'm unpacking eventually someday. So to the right, when you first walk in from the garage is our laundry room. And Justin built me a, we live here y'all, in case y'all didn't know. So, you know, it looks like someone lives here. Um, he built me this wooden shelf right here. So stuff won't fall behind it and I can kind of store stuff on it. And then we've got our water heater this here. I don't know how to open this. Somehow this opens, it doesn't open? Not not easily. Oh, you just take it down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's, see, I don't know anything about it. Sorry, maybe he should do the video, not me, right? He's <laughs> the one that built it. Um, This houses all the uh, radiant heat flooring stuff. Something like that. And then you've got all this, you wanna come over here and show them this? Something this is actually it. for all the radiant heat flooring. Oh, okay. That runs all the way down from the furnace outside into in here. This actually is all the water lines that run up into our ceiling that goes to our kitchen and our bathrooms. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a good thing you're here. <laughs> also, with our radiant heat flooring, we have, excuse me, dear. Sorry. We have all these valves that run along, that run to our radiant heat flooring, so we can actually use our outdoor wood furnace to heat our water heater as well. And this thing, I don't know what it's for, but it needs clean, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's our water filter. Okay. Okay, on this side of our laundry room, uh, I've just got these um, clothes dryer things here that I picked up at the Aldi. These things, these plastic things were $25, and I paid three for them when they was on clearance. That's not in here nor there. This ain't a saving video. Well, I mean, it is, but it's about half. So, um, our counter only goes part the way here because Justin is putting me some, we've already got the metal for everything we just need to do it. A rack right here to hang across so I can hang dry clothes through the winter when I can't use clothesline outside. And the counter only goes part way because I wanted to be able to hang all of our jeans and my dresses and skirts and stuff here. And they, Justin's jeans would touch the counter for sure. Mine might even. And I know our sons would too because he's getting as tall, if not taller than his daddy. So. But that's why our counter only goes halfway here because that's something that was important to me was to, I always hang dry my clothes. I do use the dryer sometimes, but for the most part we hang dry. I like to try and save as much money as we can. Um, on our counter here, these are actually, they're just full of junk. No, it's not junk, it's household stuff. This is dishwasher stuff and laundry soap, but that's where I store all that. 
These are actually upper cabinets. And when we went down to the uh, wholesale store, we got just two of them because I got a quote on our cabinets and I wasn't paying that much for them. So anyway, it's two of those. And then I wanted a spot to put a trash can, but I wanted to be able to be like snug somewhere, not just sitting out somewhere. So that's where we keep our trash can. And we have barn sliding, door sliding things just to make it look nice, you know, um, to put on here. We just haven't, haven't done that yet. So this is just a regular old countertop. Um, and then Justin, he did, what did you do with this? This countertop was actually a lot wider. We trimmed it down to match those cabinets. Oh, okay. Because they're upper cabinets, not lower cabinets. So they weren't as, as wide. As deep, as deep, yeah. Okay. So he cut the back of this um, and then still used the back part of it. Just put it on there and made it fit. And it looks really nice. I mean, we're pleased with it. It, it only matters if it pleases us, nobody else. So it made us happy. And little things here and there we still have to finish. Yeah. Just like, like I doors. forgot about the trim down on the other cabinet. Yeah. So, you want to give them a little looksy poo at this? Oh, that's my vacuum. We're going to hang that on the wall sometime too, but we want to get the rest of the laundry room put together. Okay, coming out of the laundry room, we have a um, trash can cabinet here, which ironically our trash can's not in it, but it has a plastic trash can thing that goes in it that I'm eventually gonna put the trash can in. So, and then you come around to the left. This is where we've got Justin's coffee pot at. We have a very small kitchen with small amount of counter space, which we did intentionally. Um, we had this cabinet, we knew we had this cabinet, so I wanted to make use of this pretty good sized space so this is where we put the coffee and stuff for him and we're gonna let Emmy show you her room we built our kids rooms very small we wanted to elevate their beds and make use of the vertical space so she's got a twin size bed in here and of course a window and she's got shoes everywhere and toys everywhere so we, she has a lot of toys we wanted to utilize the vertical space like I said we've stored toys under the bed these steps have two drawers in them, so that's where she's got like pajamas and shorts for summer. And she does have a closet. We knew she wasn't gonna have a closet door, so for her birthday, I just got her, this is actually a shower curtain, like an out, out, you got the plastic on the inside, the cloth on the outside, an exterior shower curtain. But we just got her one that she would like. And then she's got a decent sized closet. No, our kids don't have dressers in their rooms. Uh, we hang everything up. We hang pants up and shirts up. So really all she needed a, something to store stuff in was maybe for some shorts or her underclothes. So that's what we've got these totes right here for, is for her shorts and underclothes. And we've got some hooks up here for her coats. We're going to put more hooks on this side. There's nothing on this side to put, to use the vertical space to put her coats on. So, and then for shoe storage, we got one of these over the door hanging things from Walmart just to put some shoes in and then she had this bookshelf here in the old house and uh, we've moved her books out we've kind of dwindled down on some of them because they were like little childhood books and she's got her shoes on there but it's plenty big enough for her and she likes it it's plenty big enough for her and her puppy all right coming out of Emmy's room you kind of walk into like the garage over here. So we're coming out of the garage, out of Emmy's room. We have an open floor plan. We've got the kitchen on the right, living room on the left over here. And then straight across is the bathroom that the kids use. So if you want to angle out over here and I'll kind of, we did an open shelving plan in the kitchen. Justin just built, he used these black metal thingies to build me some shelves. That's the same thing he's using in the laundry room to kind of make the flow through the house seem better. We use the same color on the cabinets in the laundry room. So this is a regular hood. Is that what you call it? Stove hood? Mm -hmm. Regular stove hood. And I seen this on um, Pinterest and stuff. And when I was looking at other farmhouse tours and stuff, and I wanted it to look really cute up here because we don't have like a hood thing that goes up, but he used some old barn wood to build that. You can take that Valentine's thing down. So 
our cabinets were just plain Jane cabinets that we got down at the wholesale store. And we got at Lowe's, I think, these little pieces of board right here on every one of them and made what they call shaker cabinets, which were really easy. It was really easy to do. And then we painted them and distressed them and were really pleased with the cabinets. So just make sure you poly them if you poly your cabinets. I mean, if you, if you paint your own cabinets and don't pay, I mean, I wasn't going to pay the price that they quoted us for cabinets. That was outrageous. So these make us happy. It was affordable. It was what we wanted, you know, and then this kitchen counter is the same as the laundry room counter. So, and we put a dishwasher in and I don't, because we have little, little to no counter space. This is, I looked, I stood in our old kitchen and I said, how much of this counter space do I actually use? And, you know, I kind of thought about it and I, we measured out and we decided where I stand, what I actually use, what, what was called the crack collector, the counter that gets all the junk piled on it. And I didn't want enough counter to pile a bunch of junk on. So this is the same amount of space that I used at the old house. And then I needed a space for like crock pot, instant pot, something like that when I'm using it. So that's what we built over here. I didn't want a space for a dish drainer because... We, we, we had a, we didn't have a dishwasher in the old house. So I used my dishwasher for the dish drainer. Um, but right now it's full because we had a big supper last night. So, um, we just, when I have stuff that's not enough room in the dishwasher for it, we wash it and just drain it in the sink. But that way it's also, again, not taking up counter space. We're just using what we got without making it look cluttered. Okay. On this, these boards right here that we use for our kitchen, these, with, these are the same boards that we used on the ceiling of the porch, on the porch ceiling. Um, it's car siding, so, and these are the same thing too. These are just them flipped over for our back backsplash. So we just painted those and then Justin cut them up and snapped them together and slapped them on the wall. And we, this is just, you know, a piece of trim that kind of separates it. So I'm very pleased with the kitchen and the open shelving. It makes me very happy. So we have these French doors. Um, on both sides of the house. They're not exactly even, like, right across from each other. I mean, why, I don't know why anybody would want that specifically. I just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I wanted to be able to open the doors and carry big furniture in and move big furniture out without an issue. None of this moving heavy, taking legs off, blah, 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 you know. So, that's what we do that for. But also, with such a small house, I decided I wanted... I wanted to be able to open up these and let a lot of light in. So that lets a lot of natural light in. And we have this, had this china cabinet since forever. So we built a spot specifically the size for the china cabinet when we were, we looked at all the furniture we had and we didn't really buy, we didn't buy any furniture, I don't think. The only thing that's new is this table right here and these bar stools, which we collected from the thrift stores. So we looked at all the furniture that we had and we said, okay, we need to build a house that will fit the furniture that we have in it. And we have her bed already and everything. So we got rid of some furniture, but we didn't buy any new ones. So this is where the china cabinet went. We bought this for a pantry for my um, appliances. So down here, I've got a snack shelf for the kids. And I've got like a what I call the our baking shelf. I keep browning mixes, cake mixes, stuff like that in there. And then I've got a couple crock pots here, a couple crock instant pots here, a couple crock pots back here, and then extra seasonings and stuff like that. That not like food that you keep in the pantry, but I have like evaporated milk and seasonings and stuff like that. And then up here is just where we keep kind of breakfast food. We got oatmeal, we got cereal. Evidently, we got tootsie rolls. So someday it'll all be decorated. And if y'all want to see us turn our house into a home. Stick around. We're gonna go into the kids' bathroom. It is a full bath. It's got a bathtub and everything in it. So it's right off the kitchen. Uh, if I if we could do it again, I probably wouldn't do it right off the kitchen. I probably would organize it a little different, but this is the first house I ever drew up or ever organized. So uh, this is where it is. Someday it might move, but for today, it's right here. So we're getting ready to decorate this. We've got all kinds of stuff on the floor right here that I have planned for another video if you wanna see that. But you just come in and it's a small bathroom. Yes, there's steps that... A throne for the throne. A throne for the throne, that's what they call it. So that's just how that worked out.
You tell them to shush. Yeah. Okay, anyway, sorry. When your husband's a mechanic, he's always on call. I mean, especially when he does his own thing. So, it's alright. But anyway, uh, something about the pipes didn't line up right, something, something. Gonna have to break, break the concrete up, something, something. I said, make it work. So, Justin made it work. And then by the rest of mine. So, we're not very picky. But, in here we've got just a full shower all the way on the wall, shower tub combo thing. And because it's such a small bathroom, we actually got one of these shoe racks, shoe racky thingies from Walmart. And the kids kind of store some deodorant and razors and different things in here. Okay, our living room is humongous. Um, on the drawing that we drew up, I kind of built like a half wall here. In there this window wasn't originally supposed to be there because I wanted an office space here but once we built the porches and realized how humongous they were um, I came home from work one day and Justin said that he built me an office on the back porch so he said take it or leave it it's staying and I took it and I'm happy with it <laughs> and someday I'm gonna get all my junk out of it and I'm gonna actually make it an office so Anyway, for now, right there, I've got a table back there with, uh, so that I kind of use with my computer and stuff. And here we've got all the kids' books and our Bibles because we're building some bookshelves across the living room over here. But um, if you look at our flooring, this is a good spot for you to see our flooring. It's really dark. Um, we've got puppy paw prints. These were custom made by our puppy Shadow. They're pretty high dollar. So, I mean, you know, custom made things are pretty high dollar. But, uh, let's see. What do we not like about the floor? Uh, the paw prints. The mud. It's really dark flooring, so it gets... We've never had flooring like this before. So, it gets dirty really easy. I, I'm vacuuming all the time with the dark floor, which is fine. I like it to be clean. We definitely want an area rug. But we do want an area rug. But um, with the new construction... <laughs> okay. But with the new construction, we still have a lot of dirt. Not a whole lot of... Yeah, a lot of dust and stuff just collects with the construction, so. Well, with the snow melting and everything, too. Yeah, and uh, I didn't bother mopping because we live in a mud pit, as y'all seen earlier. Everything's still mud. We need to get some gravel out here, but it's been winter, and we just had the ice storm. So, uh, I'm not mopping up a bunch of paw prints just so they can re-paw print it, you know? So, let's see. Got the double doors. Got our TV here. Oh. Uh, Justin did install like uh, some outlets up top and a cable thingy, I guess if you want satellite TV up there. So you can attach the, uh, the plan is to eventually put the TV up higher. So that's, we did that ahead of time. Yeah, we're going to make a uh, entertainment center. Yeah, we're going to make an entertainment center that houses the TV up higher. Another project. Another project of Justin's. So we put outlets everywhere. Every two, every two seconds, you look at an outlet. Every two feet, you got an outlet. I don't know if it's really two feet, but there's outlets everywhere. Pretty close. So this fireplace right here is propane. Um, I like it hot. I like my house about 76 to 80 degrees all year round. So don't use air conditioning until it gets really hot in the summer, which is pretty late in the summer. Um, so we've got the wood furnace. We also, also have central heat and air, which we don't use because I ain't racking up the electric bill. But um, this, we had planned on putting a five burner propane heater, ventless propane wall heater on the wall. And when we had the appraisal done in the beginning, like before we started the construction, the guy asked why we were putting that on the wall and asked if we had, because it was going to be such a big space, he thought, um, if, if asked if we had considered a fireplace. And we really hadn't, but he said that it would, it would, increase the value of the home if we considered a fireplace like a propane fireplace so we got to doing some searching and we found a good deal and this is our propane fireplace which we hardly ever use but it's nice to turn the fireplace on once in a while for the fire and I don't know it doesn't really crackle does it no it doesn't crackle but it is nice and if the power goes out we can just we put this heat. on and it heats okay this heats our house within just a few minutes. What do you think? Ten? Just about. Maybe With the spray foam minutes. insulation, it really With heats the spray it up foam quick. Insulation. I mean, it, it gets this, this, I can look over there on the, on the 
thermostat and it's like 86 degrees in here. I'm like, oh my God, turn off the fire. Okay. And so, there's a sneak peek of the car too, if anybody wants to see it. Oh. Yeah. Y'all want to see the Torino? Check out the Torino. Let that's, me know in the comments if you want to see the Torino. That's me. And I'm not even looking at the camera. Nah, that's <laughs> All right, off of the living room here, this is Gunner's room. He's our 15 year old. Um, it's the same size as Emmy's room. I would quote you the sizes, but you know, I really don't. I really don't know. I'd have to look at the paper. I would well, too. I yeah. So anyway, like I said, we'll put the paper up there, but um, he's 15 and I don't, you know, I want to keep his life private. So it is the same size as Emmy's. The only difference is he has a closet door that slides on the barn door sliders. So we'll just not go in there. Right off the living room also is the master bedroom. So this is the same bed that we've always had. It's a queen size bed. Yes. Okay, it's a queen size bed. And um, we have the dresser, the chest of drawers, the two nightstands. We just measured them all whenever we decided we were gonna draw out our, what do you call that, a blueprint? I don't even know, I don't even know what I'm calling it. Blueprint, okay. Um, we measured them out. We knew exactly what size bedroom we needed. We wanted, we needed our furniture to fit in. So just over here is our closet. So on our closet, it's on these, this is just like Gunner's closet in his room. It's on these barn slider, sliding door things. Um, our contractor told us that pocket doors were very expensive and a pain in the butt to build because they take, I guess, a lot more wood and stuff. So, um, we didn't do pocket doors. I wanted farmhousey anyway, so we did these barn slide doors. And our closet is pretty good size, so we we can put clothes up here for Justin down here, up here down here. Justin did get a shorter rack on my side of the closet, uh, so that my dresses can hang down and it won't be an issue. But that way, again, we're trying to use vertical space, not just have one closet rod in the middle and that's where it all goes. Um, so I've, I can hang up. We can hang a lot more clothes in here. Not that we need any more clothes, but, and I can hang my dresses and it won't be an issue. We are going to um, put some kind of, probably one of those shoe rack things, I don't know, one of these days, to hang up my shoes, because right now I just keep them all under the bed and there's like 50 pair. Y'all know. Y'all know what shoe and like, shoes like for women. So, like I said, these dressers, we already had them. We made a space perfectly to fit them. It works for us. We don't have a TV in our room or anything like that. We never have, and we don't ever plan on it really. So, um, we didn't need it to be organized a certain way, but this is just how it fit. And in our master bathroom, same thing with the door. It just slides shut. You know, um, if you need more privacy, of course you can just shut that back, the, the master door or whatever. But when it's just you and your husband in here, you know, you don't need like a bathroom door that locks. So you might if you have little toddlers, little, little hands are going to stick under it. So our master bathroom is humongous, I feel like. Uh, it's kind of a lot, it's kind of, I don't know, maybe it's wasted space. Not sure. But we have a big, big old shower. It's got two shower heads in it. We did put a light over the shower. And now that we're in it, um, we put an exhaust fan on that side by the window. But just last night, Justin said he wished he would have put an exhaust fan over the shower. So that might be something that you'd consider if you're building, putting an exhaust fan over the shower. So uh, we did the same flooring throughout the whole house. So here's, here's that. This is our bathroom counter. Um, this was a crash and dent from Lowe's. We did a lot of crash and dent shopping. We already had our mirror. So that's our bathroom. It's pretty big. This extra space right here is what happens when the something with the pipes not getting aligned right and the, the toilet in the kids bathroom ended up on its throne we ended up with this extra space and so I had this old door that we picked up at a flea market like I don't know five or six years ago and I said hey let's put that there because I thought it would be cute and we didn't paint it or nothing we just we just put it up there the colors that it was Made use of these shelves. There's not a shelf down here because this is where our hamper goes. So it's a good little cubby hole for our hamper. And then uh, Justin's mom gave me this little bench thing and I thought that we would make use of it. So we keep our little cordy down there. Little vacuum guy. That's our master bathroom. Okay. These doors here, we were just watching ads. 
And whenever something came up that was on sale that I knew we'd need, I'd say it's time to go buy it. So we bought these and stained them ourselves. Uh, that saved us um, money. We didn't pay anybody to paint our house. We painted it ourselves. So that saved us money. We did a lot of stuff ourselves. But, but our contractor did a very good job, and he worked very hard. And he was kind of a, a one-man show. So, I mean, he had, you know, workers that he would hire to come in with him. But, I mean, he did a very good job. So, and then Justin worked his little heart out. So, I do want to show you guys. I don't know what questions you might have. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I do want to show you guys on the front porch uh, something that our electrician did. He asked us if we, he wanted us to do it. Or on the back porch, I'm sorry. It's on both. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes. Um, that I never thought of, and y'all might not either. I don't know. So, I'm just going to show you. We got light switches all over the house, and I still don't know what goes to what. I just flip 15 light switches to figure out what I'm turning on. This light switch, I would never have any idea what it went to if Justin didn't tell me. It flips on an outlet outside on the porch. Like if you want to hang Christmas lights, our electrician put an outlet up in the ceiling, and this just flips it on and off. So you hang the Christmas lights, and they're on a switch. And when I was little, I mean, we hardly ever hung Christmas lights outside, but when we did put something outside... You had to plug that sucker in, plug it and unplug it, plug it and unplug it all the time. So they're actually in, in both corners. Yep. Yeah, you do some talking. I've been talking the whole time. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. In each corner on the front and back porch. Oh, and if you want to know why this doesn't match yet, our contractor told us that we had to wait six months. We've surpassed that. Just a little. <laughs> Why did we have to wait six months? We had to wait six months to let the... Um, Something about it being treated and not yeah, treated. To let it cure completely before we pressure washed it. So the treatment was actually soaked into the wood long enough. And then, then we can... pressure wash it and restain it. Yeah, and then we can stain it to make it match the uh, porch ceiling. So, but you know, we live here. So if it ain't stained and it ain't all the same color, it's all right. It's not going to hurt our feelings. We're going to work on it slowly but surely. Okay, that's our house view. You guys have questions, leave it in the comments. Like, subscribe. If you want to see more, we're making our house a home, so I'm trying to make some videos on that. But look at this beautiful sunset behind us that we get to see from our front porch. It's very nice. Can you see? Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I hope you liked the video. All right. Oh, my shadow's in the way. Well, that's kind of hard to do without a shadow. This is our print and... I actually forgot to show y'all the office, but uh, there ain't much to it. It's just an office built on our back porch. It's 12 by 10, 10 by 12. It's got one window in it over here, and then it's got a door. And on that door, we did kind of like these doors here. I got one that's glass from top to bottom, so it lets a lot of natural light in. So I will hold this here for a minute, try to let you guys take a screenshot. How am I going to get myself out of this here, uh, get the shadow out of the way? Do, 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 do. Okay, that's enough of that. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching, y'all.